Hello and welcome to Black Screen of Darkness. Yes, we're doing our next project right now. So without further ado, let me just click on this very, very loud switch and start the game up. It's a Nintendo game and that's very loud. It's done by Rareware. I wonder what it could be. You haven't guessed by now? We're doing Banjo Kazooie. So, yep, we're doing it. Actually, I want to do this game a lot sooner. I wanted to do it before uh, Skyward Sword, but some problems arose and I couldn't do it. But we're doing it now, which is awesome. If you could guess, we're doing 100% on this game, getting all the nice little trinkets in this game, and there are a lot of things in this game. It's basically a collector's paradise, which is nice. So we have Mumbo showing off with his, well, everything. This intro just got me so psyched to play this game when I first plopped it in my N64. This is one of the few games that, uh, I don't know if I got this when it first came out. What I remember is, it's like, I think one of my dad's co-workers or something just gave him the N64 for us with a whole bunch of games. So we had, you know, Banjo Kazooie, Super Smash Brothers, Super Mario 64, and all the good games. And surprisingly, this was the first game I plopped in. Yeah, I plopped this over Super Mario uh, 64. Weird, huh? Ah, gosh, this game! I love it so much! So as you can see, there is my practice file. There, here is a failed file that didn't work out very well. And here's nothing, so let's go ahead and take this one. Now there's going to be somewhat, not really a lot of reading, but the beginning portions I'm going to be reading everything because, eh, I wanna. Those are some big emeralds. I always thought that was kind of cool that she had giant emeralds for uh, all of the eyes in the castle. And I never understood why she would have a uh, a knocker on a door inside your house. That's always weird. I guess you could, I don't know, whatever. Ding pot, ding pot by the bench. Who is the niciest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <coughs> Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Yeah, there's gonna be some rhyming. Obviously, if you couldn't guess, it's a witch. Er, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, no, no! You must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's too deep. She's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that. I don't think I can, give, I don't think I can ever decide on Grunty's voice. I actually was practicing Grunty's voice and about throughout my voice trying to do it. <laughs> Luckily, I did uh, get Bottle's voice down. If you don't know who that is, well, he's... There he is. Bottle's the mole. Hello, Tony. What are you going to do today? When my, big bro when my big lazy brother wakes up, we are going on an adventure! Surprisingly, yeah, that's... That's, oh, that brings me back to all well, this morning. <laughs> Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! <laughs> if Tootie thinks she's fairier than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mo? I can't see him! Oh, there in the sky! I don't think so. Who's that? Sorry, I got Ball's voice stuck in my head. Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. In fight scene activate. <laughs> I got his windows closed, but still, there's 
dust coming in. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. So you don't need bigger underwear. <laughs> Something I should mention this game's got some of the best humor I've seen. Oh no, that's not good. We gotta help. Well, if we could wake up. Just... Yeah. What do you want, Kazooie? Oh dang it, I had a voice for Banjo. I did. I really practiced. I am Southern, so. Well, I guess I could try to give him a hick accent, but I, I've never really. I don't guess I don't hear my own hick accent. Why has she left twice? After that, you are in the game! Yay, but you can't do much right now, so let's go ahead and go over here and talk to bottles. I think I got Banjo's accent in my mind. What's up? I'm Bottles. I'm so excited, Ball. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. There we go, I got it. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Good talk. Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The only witch could take all this swoop down out of the sky and grab her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where'd she go? She blew up to a mountain lair. It's really dangerous. So you probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. We're good enough. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. Very well, I'll give you the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the Spire Mountain. Alright, the reason why I wanted to do that and learn the moves is because I can explain them faster, but really quick I want to show you something. Is we just met Bottles, but we have a picture of him in our house. Weird, and that is the saddest bookshelf ever. That one's got stuff in it, but the other one doesn't. Uh, wait, wasn't the bed... Uh... Oh, okay, that makes sense. It was just a different angle. Huh, that's weird. Okay, so Control of Spanish Kazooie. Uh, if you couldn't guess, this is an N64 game, and we're playing it on an N64 controller, opposed to the version that's on the Xbox, because they brought it back. Yay! Uh, a is to jump. Press A and A again to do a little flutter. It's a double jump, alright. You know, you can move around with it, and it can actually slow you down when falling from high distances. There are enemies in the game, when you encounter an enemy and you get hit, you lose, well, whatever those things are. To regain it, you need to kill them. In order to kill them, you need to use your bare hands, or you can roll, or you can even jump and press B to use a, a thingamalingy. These are good against enemies in the air, and actually, it's probably the move I'll be using the most, because it's quick. When you kill an enemy, they will always drop one of these. I'm a stinky, tasty honey energy. Yep, you get honey energy. Apparently the developers really liked everything talking in this game. I don't blame them. <laughs> Onion. I missed. Come on. There we go. I hate onions. Okay, get it. So, going on to the whole jump thing, we can jump high distances and use our double jump. But this jump we can't quite make. So, we're going to do a higher jump. In order to do that, we're going to press Z to crouch. In crouch formation, you can basically just do nothing. But if you press A, you can do a, a backflip of jumpiness. Yeah, that's a word. And you get something interesting. I have an extra honeycomb piece. Click six of, six of us to increase your energy bar. I always thought that was funny that they, del that they, del that they delayed that. Or they had to put it on another line. Ugh, sorry, I thought I had to sneeze, but it was actually just a burp. It was very quiet. So, this enemy, we need to use the little drill, not drill thingy. Let's go on a drill peg. I don't know why. Alright. Now, there are six uh, honeycomb pieces scattered or Oh, I didn't explain that. When you press Z and press B, you can do a, a charge thing. Really. I should have remembered the name of the moves. You really don't even use this that much, because there's another move where you get, like, in the first level that you just replaces this. But, yeah. There are six honeycomb pieces. Honey, uh... Wait, there are honeycomb pieces. I was right. Honeycomb pieces lying around in Spiral Mountain. We're going to be getting them before heading into the Witch's Lair. I guess I could explain the camera controls. Uh, press the... C, the left and right C buttons to rotate the camera. Press the C button down to zoom out and zoom in. Press the uh, forward C button to zoom in all the way. Well, God. <laughs> the camera can be kind of tricky, but I like it. I always seem to, I'm always adjusting my camera so much. Not to the point to where you're like, oh, where am I? But I can never, like, just stay the camera zoomed out and I'm happy. I Actually, that's pretty good. That's amazing! What did I do this before? I'm just joking. I do like adjusting my camera just so I can get a better look at things. Right there, I had a new, uh, a, help, a extra life. 
I love the sound of those things. You only get to hear that uh, sound effect, I think, once in the game, but it's hilarious! Certain objects in this game, you are able to climb, like this tree. Jump up there and just climb it. Pretty simple. Hey, get a honeycomb energy. Swimming, jump in water, to start swimming. Yay. Press B to go underneath the water, hold A to kick Banjo's feet, and hold B to use Kazooie's feathers. Feathers, bird wings. Hold R to make pinpoint turning. Yeah. It's like pulling an e-brake in a car during your driving test. Don't do it. No, I'm just joking. And with that, we already have another energy. We're going into Kotova's lair. How awesome. Okay, I think we're good enough to get into the lair now. What are we up to? Ah, we're good. This part's basically just the introduction, and we'll be getting into the worlds in the next part, so maybe I'll upload this in the next part on the same day. It all depends on how I'm feeling and how long it takes me to get this uploaded. That's why this is probably going to be a shorter part. I'm going to be cutting back on how long it take, how long these parts are going to be. Maybe one world per video, depending on how long the world takes. Oh, well. So we're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to Indigratilla's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. I always thought Bottles had that kind of voice because, well, he had. Well, did you hear the sound effect they gave him? Very intimidating xylophone. Or is it a marimba? I don't know. <laughs> she can't even fit her own machine. Ha! <laughs> oh. I probably shouldn't be laughing. This is very serious. This fine contraption. Oh, this fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. No, oh, that didn't rhyme. Oh, wait, you're not going to tell the rescue. He will not dare. There are many changers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo. Push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Ah, you could have seen that coming. Yes, Mr. Scrunchy's power is on suit. Oh, he's a snake. I wonder how that sounds on the mic, because I know S's are always very, very weird. There he is. The fun begins. My tricks and traps. We'll see who wins. Come on, these are getting kind of predictable. And why is she still laughing? You must have, like, megaphones installed in here, because I don't know how you're talking to me for inside a machine. And that machine must take a long time to charge. Hey, look, shiny thing! Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with the beast missing. Yay, Jiggy Dance! Duh-huh? Uh -huh. I don't know, for Banjo trying to rescue his sister, he's not very serious. I mean, just listen to the way he jumps. Seriously, I mean, I'd be like, yeah, what, yeah! Alright, that noise is just, you're, okay, Baku. Baku! Come on, seriously. Alright, so we have a picture here. Alright, Tinto World, show in the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great, to fill in the missing space on a picture, press A if you don't want, if you want to use any. Oh, dang, I skipped the text too fast. Yeah, press A to put one in, or press B to leave. Of course, we're gonna put one in, because that's the only option we have. That's it, the picture is complete, and the door too. What was that? He's come. Oh, I was gonna say complete, but it's over. That was an easy. That was an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. Come on, Grunty. Quit laughing at me. Okay, and with that, we are done with this part. In the next part, we will head to Mumbo's Mountain. So, like, favorite, join this part, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until the next part, I will see you guys later. <laughs>